welcome back to this uh, to this video. Uh, so here are my all my sides uh, just bent. Uh, actually, I just removed the clamps on all those uh, those sides and molds. Uh, they have been clamped for at least 44 48 hours uh, to to the molds, and I just just removed the clamps, and I plan on uh, putting back the clamps right after the, this video, or at least uh, trying to to have the the sides fit a little better so I can use the, the spreaders because the idea is to uh, to have the sides on the molds uh, at about all time but just to show you guys I just uh, removed the clamps and uh, it, it did go pretty good actually as you can see uh, I do have a few burn marks here and there but it's no big deal because uh, from what I experienced you can just sand those marks uh, pretty easily so uh, sides are bent pretty good I think uh, it did go well my homemade uh, iron uh, bender bend iron just here uh, did do the job pretty good uh, I did learn a few things down the road uh, actually this uh, this mahogany type wood here uh, which is called sapelli like I said uh, turned out to be uh, a little more uh, a little harder to bend than uh, walnut uh, and more about this one here which is the cutaway part uh, this one actually gave me a lot of trouble as you can see a lot more burn mark uh, in this section here as you can see I have a little crack here uh, I did uh, actually determine that it was not a big deal because this side is uh, a lot more a lot larger than I needed to be and uh, I I will avoid this crack because the 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 body of the the side is tapering down the to, toward toward the neck, and I'm gonna escape this crack here. So it's gonna be fine because I did had a hard time. Uh, what you've sh you've seen in the video is, the, is this one, but I did uh, uh, did not succeed on the first try. Uh, I did have uh, I, I think I, I used it, I tried it a, a few times before having I mean, it did crack many times about around here a few times here this was a lot harder to to bend and uh, it was my first time so I did not have a lot of experience uh, but I did actually uh, succeed at the end and this bending iron turned out to be pretty good I learned that actually you need to to let this thing. Uh, warm for a little while uh, at, at the beginning i was i started to use it after like five or ten minutes and uh, using this uh, little uh, infrared thermo thermometer here uh, i didn't measure about 160 to 170 degree uh, on the uh, on the the iron itself and what i did not know at first is that after like 30 to 40 minutes this thing gets to uh, 200 degrees and, and a little bit hotter uh, even and it bends wood a lot easier when it's hotter so especially for this wood here and I did use a, a very few water at the beginning and uh, it turned out that using more water was a lot better too for this thing so the only thing that I wanted to show you too was uh, what I did here to, to, to help clamp the cutaway uh, because uh, the joint here will need to be uh, just like that with the other part and uh, I did cut the mold a little little slot here to uh, to allow the, the side to to go into the slot like that so and I did put those uh, those two pieces uh, to help the mold retain the the side in place because I didn't want it to, to warp because when it's hot and wet it tends to warp a little easier. So uh, all in all I'm pretty happy about how it turned out. Uh, next step will be uh, fitting the, the sides in the mold and uh, adding the, the blocks, the, the, the heel lock and the, the tail lock. So this will be the next step I'll be showing. 